Welcome. Oh, I hurt my head. Oh. Hi guys, I'm Oksana and welcome to my kitchen. I have decided to start a series which I call Trying Kitchen Things or TKT for short or for my French viewers out there, it means don't worry, which is basically what this is. Don't worry if things don't turn out as they have to turn out because they're probably not gonna turn out as we hope. This is the only cooking show you'll ever need where you just watch me try not to burn my kitchen down, basically. I decided to start this by making very simple cookie recipes. Again, not an expert in the kitchen yet. I am coming for your title, Golden Ram. But I decided to bake two different vegan cookies. We're starting from the easiest one to the hardest one because we want to start with very simple recipe that will make us at least gain some confidence when we probably fail on the last one. We're gonna put our hair up so we're ready to cook. I have prepared all my ingredients on one side. I have the recipes right in front of me so we're gonna start because yeah, it's gonna take a long time. <laughs> so why do this? Well, I have saved so many recipes over a few years now and I want to make them. I have created a Notion database with a bunch of recipes, which I still have some more to add because like I've saved so many recipes over Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. So I'm just trying to put them all together. So basically I just chose recipes from that database I've made and I'm gonna make them today with you guys. Let's get cooking. Our first recipe is Kirby's Cravings 3 ingredient healthy no-bake cookies which are vegan. So I decided to start with a very simple no-bake cookie recipe so I don't have to start the oven just yet. We're gonna get them. It's baby steps, you know, baby steps. For this recipe we'll need dates, cocoa powder and then our favorite thing on this channel, oats. It says it's easy, so let's see how easy it is. First step, line a cookie sheet with a parchment paper. I can do that. By the way, this makes 12 cookies and it takes 10 minutes. It's 1.42, so let's see how fast we can make this. Step one is done. Step two, pulse dates in food processor until they are fully blended and the mixture becomes a sticky paste. We're gonna have the recipe because I only have nine and it says 10. So we're gonna use five dates. We have five dates. So we're gonna pick them. So we need to take the little thing out. Take this out. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but during quarantine, I wanted to cook a lot, but I was stuck with homework and stuff like that, you know? Uh, so I didn't get to cook a lot, but I love cooking. I love experimenting in the kitchen. The thing is, I experiment too much and I don't follow recipes and I have to get better at that. I just forget halfway what I'm doing and I just start doing something else. I don't know if I'm the only one. One day I'll be One day I'll be Gordon Ramsay. I'll have my own restaurant, right? <laughs> sure telling yourself that. You guys seem to really enjoy the episode of me trying to bake bread. I mean, it turned out really good, but I ate it all in one day. I gave some to my family, of course. It was too good to just leave there, okay? I'm sorry. But yeah, now we have five pitted dates. We have a food processor. And then we're gonna put one, two, three, and five. Before I do that, let's read step three. So then add in cocoa powder, pulse again until the cocoa powder is completely incorporated. And then the cocoa powder should cause your paste to break up into small clumps. So we're gonna pulse this and we're gonna measure half the recipe. So we're gonna use one and one fourth of a tablespoon cocoa powder. Yeah, we can do that. Yes. We'll put the cover on and start. I mean, it kind of made a sticky paste, kind of. It's kind of hard to do it. But I'm just gonna say it's there, okay? I'm really impatient. So now we have this cocoa powder. We have our tablespoon, and we're just gonna do one, and then one fourth of it. So we're just gonna make sure everything goes there. Maybe now that there's more volume, then something will happen. But after that we have to pull the oat which is three-fourths of a cup 
something happened. And then it says three fourths of a cup quick oats, that's 67.4 grams. I just googled it, which means half of that would be 33.7. And we have this really smart spoon that wakes up, which we haven't opened. So, guess what? I'm gonna open because I think it's so much easier to weigh 33 grams of oats with that. Plus, I love opening new stuff, so. And I've already made a mess in my kitchen. I mean, what's another mess? So it has made my paste go into like crumbly bits, which is what the recipe says. So I think we might be doing something right. We're gonna pulse it one more time, just in case. Yep, now we've done it. It smells good already, so anyways, let's use our trusty spoon. Zero grams, 25.9. We need 7.8 grams more. 8.1 is fine. So now it says pulse until it's incorporated and then we can add water if it's too dry. Let's check. I think chocolate doesn't want to blend with the rest. Stop being unique. I want to make some cookies for God's sake. I mean, I think it's too dry. I don't know. I wish the recipe had some video or some pictures. You know, sometimes they put some pictures of the steps. That would be nice. Because I don't know how this is supposed to look like. Oh, Ooh, it smells chocolatey. I mean, we've done something. It makes six cookies, right? Because we have the recipe. I mean, the actual recipe, if we actually followed it, we would make 12. Let's make six then. By the way, all the recipes are gonna be linked down below because I didn't make any of them. Maybe in the future, I will try to experiment doing my own, but I feel like for a first time, we should follow someone else's genius Ooh. idea, you know, because that's not what my talent is. Not that my talent is in cooking. It's a struggle getting these up. I think they're supposed to be a lot bigger than what I'm making them. You know what? I'm just gonna make six balls and then when they look kind of the same, I'm then gonna shape them. I mean, I didn't need to add any water, so I must have done something right. And this is already taking a long time. And guys, tell me what recipes you want me to try. If you want me to continue trying the recipes from my database, I would love to because I have so many. Or you can send me your recipes and I'll try and make them and not ruin them. I'm trying to surprise my family before they come. So if I could make this faster, that would be so much nicer. But no, I have to be slow with everything. Why can it be like, I don't know, flash in the kitchen, you know? You know what? I should have just put everything into a bowl and done it from there. I just come with my ideas when I've done all the work. See, this is so much easier because then I can roll them here and make them bigger. I am a genius. That's too retarded. I come with my ideas too late when the kitchen's already in fire. So we're gonna see how much they weigh and hope they weigh kind of the same. This one weighs 9.8. Okay, I'm gonna make you a little bit bigger because you need more, 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 more. So now that we have our six bowls, now we are gonna smash them and then we're gonna put them in the freezer. I mean, that's a pretty cookie. Now we just have to do that five more times. Three hours later. Wow. We're gonna put this in the freezer. Yes. Let's move on to the next recipe, okay? This already took 40 minutes. And we've already made a huge mess. Now, our second recipe is a banana bread cookies. Now, we've all made at least one banana bread during quarantine. So I thought that doing a banana bread cookie would be a great idea just to bring back those memories. So for this recipe, which is from the Jarudi family website, it takes 15 minutes according to them. Now times that by three, so that means 45 minutes. We're gonna have again oats. This time we're gonna use baking soda, some cinnamon, one cup of smashed banana, vanilla extract and date paste, which is made with dates and water. And then we're gonna need the liquid from a chickpea can. So we're gonna preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Now that that's done, let's start so first add the dry ingredients into a large bowl first of all we need the bowl we have a large bowl this recipe makes 12 to 13 cookies let me just do the date paste first to see how much we can actually get 
There's my knife. I should not be trusted with a knife in the kitchen. I'm afraid the oven's gonna explode if I don't hurry up, so we better hurry. Okay, so we have our four dates. We're gonna use the smaller blender that I have, and hopefully I don't break it. But now, let's see. It would be safer to use the other blender, but it's now covered in chocolate, so that's gonna take a while to get off. And now we cross our fingers and hope that this doesn't break. I think I officially broke the blender. That took me less than a month. How do I know I broke the blender? Because the liquid is out. That's just... <gasps> I'm gonna be killed by my brother because this is how he makes his smoothies. Like, I thought I could go one video without making a huge mess, but no, I just cannot. <gasps> Always have to make a mess, don't we? Always. I mean, we broke it already. We might as well just keep going. Uh, hopefully more liquid doesn't escape. I used it this morning to make my breakfast oat cake, so I just broke it. No more liquid came out, so something happened. It's called easy banana bread cookies. <laughs> easy for who? For a functioning adult? Yeah, probably. Now I can't even open it. Well, now we can't even open, so we can't even use this. Don't try this at home. Yeah, that's half a cup. I'm just gonna say that's half a cup. So we're gonna add the dry into a large bowl. Okay, that would be oat flour. We have oat flour here. So we need two cups. Baking soda. I almost put baking powder. We need a half teaspoon. Okay. Then other cinnamon. One teaspoon as well. So we're just gonna mix that. Okay. Then mix it the mashed banana, date paste, with the extra banana. Okay, so we just need the liquid. Welcome to the other side of the kitchen. We're gonna open this. Now we're gonna add the date paste. Hopefully this works. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm not even following the recipe anymore. I'm just doing something. I mean, it smells good. First of all, the date paste destroyed my blender. Then it didn't even do it correctly. Then I don't have enough bananas to make this, so I just did something. At this point, we're just trying something. That's great. We're so good at this. I feel like that's too liquidy. And I thought this was really easy. Hopefully something happens, something good. We have our baking tray, parchment paper. We have our mixture, which looks more like liquid than anything else. Okay, after I put like five cloves more of oats or something, it kind of looks like a cookie now, kind of. We're just gonna jello it. At least we made one cookie right, which we didn't need to bake. If that tells you anything about my skill level in the kitchen, I don't know what else can. We're just gonna call these banana monster cookies because it's just an imitation of someone's recipe. And they look so pretty in the pictures and I completely destroyed them. At least we can get salmonella if they don't cook. We're gonna put it in the oven, apparently for 10 minutes. I think it's gonna be like half an hour, but... You suck! Anyway, after having just burned myself, breaking my blender, making a huge mess in my kitchen, having now no oat flour for my breakfast oat cake tomorrow, and having made some sort of monster cookie that is gonna probably become alive in the oven, I think it's time for me to clean up now. After almost one hour of baking, and this was supposed to take half an hour, 40 minutes max. Let's start cleaning before my family comes and wants to kill me. Just if you guys want to see the huge mess I've made. So, no oat flour. Sticky everywhere, including also here. And a bunch of stuff to clean up, you know. So that's great. Also, I'm saving my chickpeas to eat tomorrow. But yeah, anyways, let's continue cleaning. It's going well. Not really. I think the cookies look done, so we're gonna check on them. We're gonna leave them for two more minutes. The next day. So it's the next day, and this is what's left of the cookies I made. So I haven't tried them, my family has. I only have two of the chocolate cookies left and four of the banana cookies. We're gonna try them. So, first, the banana cookie. That's actually really good. Like, I did something. 
Now I can't read the recipe from the actual blog because I didn't really follow the recipe. But what I did at least, I'm gonna give it 7 out of 10, I think. Good effort, they taste nice, plus the fact I thought I was gonna completely fail, I would give them a 7 out of 10. Now we have the chocolate no bake cookies. Now skill wise this was the easiest to make, although it did take like 40 minutes to make so, but let's see. The chewier, they're actually really good, like they're not too sweet. I do like the fact that some of the oats, you can still kind of taste them, if that makes sense. But I would give this one a 6 out of 10. The reason being because personally, I don't tend to like chocolate desserts. Also, I gave it a 6 because it's easier than the other one. It's hard to mess up. You probably have all the ingredients you need in your kitchen already. Basically, a success. Even though we did cause a huge mess in the kitchen and broke a blender. And I almost broke my scroll, but you know, things happen especially when I'm in the kitchen. But that was this week's video. I hope you guys liked it. I sure was very excited to try two recipes out of my, I don't know how many hundred recipes I already have in my database. So I can't wait to make more and try more. Leave a like so I know you enjoyed the video. Tell me in the comments down below what other recipes you want me to try or send me recipes you want me to try. As long as I don't uh, burn my house down, it's fine. And if you guys want to see when I try them, remember to subscribe and click the little notification bell so you get notified when I upload my next video. But yeah, that was it for me this week. Have a fantastic week and see you next time. Bye-bye.